Hello everyone, my name is Epos Vox and welcome to Titanfall Beta. Yes indeed, this is the training mission for Titanfall Beta. It is waiting for me to start the training simulator here. Playing on PC obviously. You can pretty much guess that most of my videos that are actually featuring new games are going to be pretty PC unless they're console exclusives or something like that. If I do older games, I'm certainly, there's the potential I'm going back to console. I actually just bought about 50, no, about 40 if you include both trips so far, PS2 games. Because uh, most GameStops and stuff are getting rid of them, and so I'm going to go back and play through some of those. But this is, why did I choose that? No! Okay. It, it does the Halo 1 and Halo 2 thing where it asks you to look at the lights and then if you want to invert your controls, I definitely don't want to invert my controls. That was a dumb choice here. And this is basically just a Hammond Industries training simulator to run through the mechanics of this game, and this game has some freaking awesome mechanics. Alright, so obviously you have your default movement uh, that most FPS will have. Ta ta take into consideration how great this looks for a beta, by the way. Considering how crappy BF4 looked, at least on console for the beta, this game looks awesome. You have your sprint, you have your jump, you know, it doesn't seem like it's going to be anything too crazy considering, and then sprint jumping, considering it's a first person shooter, it's made by the Call of Duty guys, but let me just say we get into some pretty freaking awesome stuff here. Wall running, right there. What is this, Mirror's Edge? Yes, actually, this is fucking Mirror's Edge mixed with Call of Duty mixed with Hawken, and it is amazing. Look at this, running across the freaking wall, holy freaking crap. It is a lot of fun. And I can just imagine how awesome the multiplayer, ex I haven't played the multiplayer yet, but I can only just imagine how awesome the multiplayer's experience bouncing from wall to wall like this. Like, this is great. And, ouch. Shit. I, I should have dropped down first. I thought I could make that. But, wall running's still cool, even if I die from time to time. Freeform wall one. Wall run, wall run, wall one. All right. So here it puts us, this, it almost has a mix of, like, Mirror's Edge and Portal, and Hawken and Call of Duty, like, holy freaking crap. And the environments look really, really cool. It's like a mix of Portal and just this underground beat-up area. It's like under the base of Portal, basically. And look at that, chained, bouncing, and double jumping, and wall running. Now we get to the actual double jump here. I do like that Hammond Industries logo, it looks very creepy, science fiction-y. Double jump just with the little booster pack. It's good to have that. I like having double jumps in shooters, especially if you're going to have these kinds of strafing and wall jumping mechanics. Double jumps can be very, very useful. Now we're getting back to the freeform stuff, getting out of the aperture labs and going in here. Alright, where do I? Where, it's the exit up there, I think. So let me do, 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 do. Yes. I probably skipped half of what they originally wanted me to do over there, because that room was big, but I made it nonetheless, because I have excellent navigational skills, pilot. And see, the AI doesn't insult me. I'm not being insulted. Damn it, GLaDOS. <laughs> oh, we get cloaking. Okay. It's on Q. I'm not sure Q is going to work for me. I'm trying at the moment to play with my G13 gamepad, but... I honestly don't think it's going to work for this game. Alright, cloaked, run past them, no problem. Alrighty, let me through! No, it doesn't. Yep, basic every game. Alright, let's go, Wee. Basic combat, here we go, this is what I've been waiting on. This is what I have been waiting on. You can silently kill with melee attack. Alright, let's do it, do I need to cloak? No. Cloak, cloak, cloak. Guess not. All right, let me change my controls real quick because this is not working with my G13. Turn on mouse sensitivity because it's really bouncy and I don't want to make you guys sick. All right, melee. Uh, what do I want to do with melee? Let's put, yeah, let's put them on the mouse buttons here on my Red 5. And then I kind of need to adjust some of these a little bit, but... I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't think this is gonna work with the G13. 
Uh, especially, like, it has those number keys on there for the weapons, and I think those are actually enforced. We're going to give it a shot. I don't think it will, well. Eh. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. We'll give it a shot, though. That kind of sucks, because the G13 is a lot more comfortable to play with, but whatever. All right, let's go melee. I got it, guy. I got it. Come on. Go. Stab. Oh, broke his neck. All right. I like this. An enemy from the front can be faster, but, carries but carries more risk of death because they can shoot you. I just had it out, damn it. All right, scroll. Ooh, that looks different. Smart pistol. Okay, reload. This is the smart pistol. I'm holding it gangsta style. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you. And the smart pistol will start locking on. I'll start locking on. All right, cool. So we have auto aim in an F in a competitive FPS. What is this? I like this. I wonder how effective it is. <laughs> oh what? All four at once. Oh shit! Assassin's Creed stuff in here. All right. This is pretty cool. Yeah, because they're humans. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. Nice, nice, nice. I am loving this. Let me tell you. Ooh, firing range time. Switch to your rifle. Alright, so now we're here in the firing range. We're going to switch to our primary weapon here. The carbine. Really? So, wait, let me. This is actually. I like it. Yeah. Oh, hello. Grenade range. We're going to be throwing grenades. I love that Hammond Industries logo. It's so cold and creepy. So, F. No. Nope. There we go. Alright, so they're pretty accurate, actually. Most grenades in games aren't that accurate. Those grenades are actually pretty accurate. Scenario oh no. Destroy all opposition in the area. Do we have oppos your opposite? Oh. Is located in the upper left corner of your AR display. Look for the small dots on your mini map to find all the enemy troops. This game certainly looks cool. Oh, I only have the smart pistol and the pistol. Shit. No. I have a third weapon. I can go invisible. That works. <laughs> Fucking kick. Yeah. A smart pistol certainly works. <laughs> Pick up a gun. Oh sh shit. Ow! That's not what I wanted. Minimal damage sustained during live fire exercise. Well done. No! <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Hostile Titanfall imminent. What? What? No! Titan I wasted my grenades. Substantial damage from small arms fire. Switch to your anti-Titan weapon. Yeah, I got it. Grenades are down though. Destroy right. Titan with your anti-Titan weapon. Oh god, it doesn't have hardly any shots. <laughs> Get the run up walls over. Oh fuck. I was taking. Certification. Death simulation has been disabled. As a pilot, when your view screen tints. Yeah, I know. You are close to death. Avoid taking damage for a short. Okay. And your health will restabilize. Thank you. Once the red tint on your screen fades away, 
You have fully recovered. Titan is down. What? Titan is not down. Titan is not down at all. Nope. That's what they're here for. Can I pick that up? No. Once your titan is built, you can drop your titan onto the battlefield. To continue, please initiate titan fall. Initiate titan fall. Look to the sky to watch your titan fall into battle. Totally like in Pacific Rim. Totally Pacific Rim here. The titan picks me up. Holy shit. Titans are designed to be a oh. extension of the pilot. Oh. Firing your titan's primary weapon. Is as easy as firing a pilot weapon. Kill the hostiles <laughs> arriving in drop pods. Okay. Can I kill the drop pods? Do I have a secondary weapon? No. Silly AI, they think they can kill me. I cannot jump very high though. Yet da 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 yet da da da. Do I have any other fire modes? Any more left? Oh. I can just run over them all right. <laughs> that is awesome. Alright. There's one more bad guy over here, it looks like. Where are you at, homie? Excellent. Yep. Combat scenario complete. Titan Dash. Oh god. Titans can dash laterally to perform fast directional changes. To proceed, please dash in any direction you like. Ah, okay. Dash to the left. Dash to the right. Dash meter. Dash meter. Dash to the left. Dash to the left. Dash meter. Dash meter. Dash meter. Dash to the back. Good job. Please proceed to the exit. Let's go. Titans frequently dash to avoid threats oh. in combat. Move down the hallway while avoiding the rockets. Nope, that didn't happen. Damn it. I don't have any ammo on my chain gun. That sucks. Titan Vortex Shield. There's a lot to this. To defend against ranged threats, Titans can be equipped with the Vortex Shield. With the Vortex this Shield. Absorbs incoming ballistics for a limited time, then refires them. <laughs> right. Oh, press and hold Q. Okay. Nope. Oh, Chuck Testa. Sorry. I had to. Titan AI control, that can't be good. Skilled pilots often disembark from their titans on the battlefield. Why would they do that? Continue. Disembark from your titan. Oh. Head into the control room to open the gate for your titan. <laughs> That's hacking, shoving my knife in it. All right. I like that kind of hacking. Can control their Titan's AI when they are on foot. The AI can be toggled to follow you or guard its current location. I want you to follow me. Corner of your pilot HUD displays your Titan's current AI mode. Put your Titan into follow mode, and it will follow you through the gate. When your Titan is in follow mode, it will try to stay close to your position. Do it. Get close to your Titan and re-embark. Let's go, Titan! Eat me! Nom nom nom, Titans! 
Here you go. How many of these are there? Oh no. Also carry offhand weapons into combat. These weapons can be fired at times when primary weapons are unavailable, which enhances your Titan's combat effectiveness. No. Right. Your Titan has been equipped with the rocket salvo. Try firing your rocket salvo now. Do it. Holy shit. Offhand weapons to maximize your firepower in combat. All right. Prepare for your final Oh shit. Test. Try to use all of the skills you have learned. We got this. We got this. Titan shields temporarily disabled. Each Titan has a shield ha. that reflects incoming damage. Your shield bar wraps above the health bar at the top center of your HUD. If you avoid taking damage for a short time, your shields will recharge. The best pilots will monitor their <laughs> Titan's shields in combat, taking breaks to recharge as necessary. Recharging for wusses. Wave survived. Prepare for the next wave. The next wave? Excuse me? Next wave incoming. Huh? Be advised. Enemy titans may now appear with more advanced. Well, shit. F. Boom. Your titans health bar status. Yeah, I'm going. Located at the top yep, center. Yep. I see it. Blood. Thank you. I don't have any more bullets. It will not replenish. Once your health bar is depleted, your Titan is doomed to die shortly. Thank you. There we go. Reload me. <laughs> Another wave? What the hell? Come on now, play fair. Play fair. No. This is good test for. Use caution. Mm, good test for the multiplayer. Shit. Oh, I lost. I'm dead. Oh. Is critically damaged. Oh. Combat veterans refer to this as doomsday. Your Titan will doomed. be destroyed once it is doomed. When you eject, you can use the higher vantage point to plan your next move. Yes, yes I can. Excellent. Your pilot combat certification is complete. All right, we did it. We passed the certification. Now it's time to get on to the actual game. All right. All hands, listen up. We're five minutes out from Horizon Station. Violet, this is your stop. You got ten minutes to collect your gear and no get shit. Off my boat. All right. Welcome to the frontier. The frontier. Hello. No. Oh. Okay. So, hope you enjoyed that training session, guys. It is time to get into the actual beta itself. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in a multiplayer video.